Most U.S. companies have stopped doing business with Russia since the invasion began, and that includes chains like McDonald's, which shut down more than 800 restaurants, and Starbucks. But now Russian officials are threatening to ban trademark protections for those companies, meaning they could reopen those restaurants with look-alike businesses. Seth Berenswag is a business law attorney, and he joins us to add some perspective on this. Uh, Seth, this is a pretty incredible story, to be frank with you. I, I didn't know that this was something that could happen. If these trademark protections are scrapped, what does that mean for, like, McDonald's and Starbucks? Can they do anything about it? Well, they can do something about it, but they have to act quickly. This is really a, a unique historic occurrence, of course, with all the tragedy and crimes against humanity that are going on in the Ukraine. Uh, from the business standpoint, Russia is really becoming the new Wild West. Ordinarily, in order to protect your intellectual property here, your trademark, you would have to have the cooperation of the local patent and copyright office and the courts to be able to apply enforcement mechanisms. Russia has announced that supposedly unfriendly countries are no longer going to be able to get protection in that venue. So what has happened as a cautionary tale with McDonald's is that they've literally stolen the trademark. They've taken the McDonald's M logo, they've flipped it on its side, kept everything else, in, including the color, and they are now calling it Uncle Vanya's, if you can believe it. Huh. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. And now what's happening is there are people who are going in with consumer confusion, and that's literally what's happening. It's almost comical if it wasn't so sad. So what we're seeing now is a situation where American companies with a place of presence in Russia have to quickly pivot. They have to protect their executives and get out because they could literally be subject to arrest. Russia has warned that American executives can be arrested. They have to terminate payments to those employees. McDonald's has said that they are going to continue to pay their employees and that's $50 million a month. Unfortunately, they're going to have to terminate those payments. They're going to have to cut off all of the supply chains. And they have to try to reach the consumers somehow through social media. Because as we know, consumers in Russia are being lied to on a variety of different fronts. But how can these businesses even continue operating if the executives are being taken out of the country, if the you know supply chains that would normally get like cups and bags and things like that to the restaurants aren't there anymore, if the recipes, for instance, are no longer accessible to Uncle Vanya's instead of McDonald's, how could they continue operations? Well, it's a great question. And, and I think in the long run, they probably won't be able to do that. I don't think it's sustainable because I don't think that uh, individuals in Russia really have the capability of having a long term sustainable business. What they might be able to do is degrade it and, and have a cheaper version of the business running. But that, of course, is going to have a dilutive and, and, and negative effect on the company. You can imagine that companies like McDonald's and Starbucks and IBM and all the rest of them are decidedly really upset about this. This is an unprecedented theft of corporate property. So in the long run, it will be tough. But in the short run, this is really perilous for these companies, even up to and including possible imprisonment of their executives. This is completely unprecedented in the world of business. Well, and as we saw those numbers earlier, almost 10% of system-wide sales revenue coming in uh, from Russia and Ukraine for McDonald's. And this is a list of companies like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Starbucks, Amazon. With just a few seconds left here, Seth, can you just give me a sense of how devastating this could be for Russia's economy if, in fact, they can't sustain this long term and those companies start to collapse in that country? Well, I think it will be very devastating because companies like McDonald's that have really tried to be really good and, and very careful about taking care of their people are going to have to terminate these payments. They're going to have to close the payrolls, and it's going to continue to have a very deteriorative effect on the Russian economy. Uh, sources are going to become scant. Supply parts won't be delivered. This is going to continue to have a very devastating impact on the people in Russia as they are yeah. really experiencing basically a totalitarian lockdown. Incredible thing to watch. Seth Berenswag, thanks for your insight, sir. You bet.